In this video, you'll see how to make tight radius curves using design line from 3M Knifeless Tape. To begin, you'll see how not to make them. Here, Phil Aquin is forming the design line fully onto the surface, both on the straights and curves. This style puts too much tension on the green tape, especially for the inside of the curve sections. This tension prematurely releases the line from the green tape. Another incorrect method is to stretch the design line just before making the curve. By pulling on the roll, the design line gets a pre-stretch. Then, when it's applied to the application surface, this does help reduce the tension on the green tape. However, it's still not enough to keep the line from prematurely releasing. Another incorrect method is to feed the curves by holding onto the green tape and not the roll. This can produce less tension on the curves, but it results in asymmetrical lines, both on the straights and on the curve sections. Once the wrap material is applied, it's now time to release the first run. And here's what the results look like. The curves are not rounded, but instead are cut off at a sharp angle. And the green tape gets stuck under the wrap film. And now the second line is released using standard methods. The second version is significantly better, but the curves can still come up short and have sharp angles. Now the last run is released. This one has the best curves, but is asymmetrical from top to bottom. To create perfect tight radius curves using design line from 3M Knifeless Tape, use the following method. When coming up to the curve, angle the roll into the curve at a 30 degree angle. Then be sure to only seal the outside half of the green tape to the surface. This combination keeps the line symmetrical and minimizes the tension on the green tape. This keeps the line from prematurely releasing. Repeat the same steps along the entire run, always being sure to rotate the roll into each curve. Once the run is set, use the back of a fingernail to lightly tack the green tape on the inside portion, then use a burnishing tool to firmly adhere the tape onto the surface. This type of tool can be commonly found at fabric stores. And if adding a design line, in this case for a parallel run, repeat the exact same steps. Angle the roll of the knifeless tape into the corner. Only seal the outside edge of the green tape. Lightly form it onto the curve with a fingernail. Then come back with the burnishing tool to completely seal it to the surface. Now apply the wrap film over the runs being sure to use an application glove to firmly adhere the wrap film over the design line. Next, it's time to release the lines. On the right side, Phil is showing an incorrect release. On the corners, he pauses. And on the entire run, instead of pulling perpendicular to the tape, he pulls at different angles away from the line. And here is a shot of the final results. The key is to use either of these two methods. Here, one hand pulls evenly, while the other holds the line low and flat, as well as keeps it perpendicular. The other method is to use one hand and keep an even flow around the corner. Keep the line perpendicular on the straight and around the corner evenly again. This takes more focus, but has the same results. You can see perfectly symmetrical corners that look like pre-cut plotted pieces. This method works great for designs and for inlays to say on bumpers or door handles. For more information on 3M Knifeless Tape, you can click on this link. And to take a 3M Knifeless Tape workshop or become 3M Knifeless Tape endorsed, click here. This video is proudly produced by the Rep Institute.